Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper back at you finally with some more video tutorials. This is going to be my first one and hopefully uh, a series of a bunch of cinematic um, sounds, I guess. This one's going to be about making a uh, big, nasty, low horn sound that you hear in any and every Michael Bay trailer. So this is what it's going to sound like. So um, when you hear that on your trailer and you've got like just a black screen with Michael Bay and big white uh, letters and then it says Mark Wahlberg because the Transformers movie is coming, you know that something bad and terrible and just absolutely stupid is going to be coming, right? Yeah, something bad and terrible is definitely this, this way comes. That's how Michael Bay would write that into a script if he wrote anything. So um, let's just go go ahead and make this real quick. It's real simple. First thing you need to do is go up to AbletonLive.com and download the Orchestral Brass Pack. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the blog um, where you can find the link to this, a, bit, a little description, and um, a bunch of other packs that if you have the Live 9 suite, you just need to get. They're just, you need to get them. There's no reason not to have them. I use them all the time. Beautiful sounds, top quality. Um, so definitely go get them. If you don't have the Live Night Suite, they're not free, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know how much they cost, but if you can afford it, definitely grab them. And if you can't, I guess just get a uh, some sort of trombone VST. It should still work the same. I'm going to be using the Mute Legato um, trombone section. So if you can find something close to that, uh, you should be good. The bass trombone will work as well, but uh, let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm going to take pack just drag it uh, drag it over here and I'm just gonna put in a MIDI clip and I'm gonna come all the way down to I think G0 and G1 I'm just gonna use the G now I'm gonna turn this on yeah that's it so I'm just gonna come in and control B to get my pen tool and drag that right here and I'm just gonna do it on the G0 and I'm gonna fold it down so I can just see that, get out back to my cursor and just drag it all the way over. Yeah, that's way too long. But just a bar, I think. I'm at 110 BPM. I don't know what you're going to be working at, but. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, that doesn't sound too cool. And the thing about the uh, packs you get from Ableton.com is they have the adjuster down here. So when you pull this up, it actually switches the sample inside of the multi-sample mode sampler. So um, if I come way down on it, let's, let's bring this down. Let's get rid of this G for now. Here it's real quiet. A little bit, a little bit louder. Oh, that's Michael Bay all over. Oh, so right about here, it's starting to get really nasty. But if I turn this bad boy up to about here, listen to this now, all opened up. It's pretty sweet if you ask me. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate that. And on that top one, I'm actually just going to bring it down and give it, to give it a, a little bit of character, kind of beefing up the sound a little bit. Sweet. And then I have the Ambience Reverb Free VST. Um, I use it all the time. And I've just got that on a send channel down here. And I'm just going to turn it up way up. Sweet. And maybe just a tad uh, uh, some ping pong delay on my other return channel. Yep, that's uh, Mark Wahlberg coming with something terrible. And I generally like Mark Wahlberg. But anyway. And if you wanted to add a little bit of sub bass behind it, just to give it a little more intense feeling, um, you could just add some hip hop sub bass. So what I'm going to do is Control shift t to add a MIDI clip. I'm just going to pull this MIDI clip down. I'm going to come in and get rid of that top one. Um, and I'm just going to come into Instruments, uh, uh, operator, bass, and then there's a preset I always come to just for quick sub, and that's a hip hop sub bass. Drop it on there. You want to come over to the uh, second 
uh, tier here where the level is all the way up. The rest of these are off right now. So this is the uh, envelope we want to control. And right now it sounds like this. Okay, which is way too loud. So if we turn that down. But before I turn it down to where I need it, I'm actually going to turn the distortion up just a tad. Sweet. And then I'm going to take this uh, release and pull it down. So that's pretty cool. And then what I do is just turn it way down. I mean, it doesn't really need to be. This isn't Skrillex. It's just, this is a trailer horn toot or whatever the hell. Maybe if we bring it down. Something like that. I mean, it's just adding that sub behind it. So when it's in the theater... And um, just before Mark Wahlberg comes on the, the, the screen, you could, it will really be booming inside of there. And it will scare all the children for sure. But anyway, um, I hope that was quick enough. And I hope you guys have all the stuff you need to do it. But I'm definitely going to be coming soon with some other um, cinematic type sounds. I'm going to try to do a Japanese taiko percussion type thing. Um, some suspense, building suspense uh, with some strings and stuff like that. But anyway, um, as always, thanks for watching and send any requests, feedback, whatever to me at joshuacasper.com. And we will see you next time. Peace.